make a, um, a MoGraph material that's going to have a bunch of different colors that will be randomly applied to these sweeps using our random effector. We've made simple materials so far with colors, so now we'll make something a little bit more clever. So I'm going to create a new material. And I'm going to double click it to open up the editor. In my color channel that I'm working with here, what we've done previously is just set colors by using our color sliders. We can make much more complex and sophisticated surfaces than just plain colors. And the way that we do that is by applying custom textures. Textures are extra systems of creating colors and patterns and um, you know, shading effects. In this textures menu under the uh, color setting, there's a little uh, arrow to the side of it that gives us all sorts of different types of textures. Down towards the bottom is a, um, is a MoGraph menu, and in there there is a thing called a multi-shader, which I'm going to select. So this means inside my color channel, I've now got a multi-shader. Now, in the same way that our objects in the objects list are hierarchical, they list sort of one thing underneath the other or inside the other, our materials are the same. We've got a color channel, and inside the color channel is a multi-shader. We can click on that to go into this. Now, what I want to do is set up some colors. At the moment, I've got two different textures. Uh, there's nothing going on with them. Uh, but we do have, again, this little arrow where we can select textures again. I'm just going to select a simple color for this first texture. So this just gives me a color swatch. I can click on that, and again, I can change the colors of it. If you need to, change the HSV system to an RGB if that makes a bit more sense. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a... Um, I'll just start with a, a bluish kind of color. So I'm just going to adjust these sliders until I've got some kind of a bluish color. Now, in the same way that our hierarchies of objects and the object manager uh, are sort of nested one inside the other, at the moment this color shader is nested inside uh, a bunch of other layers uh, inside our color. We can use this arrow here to go back up through a hierarchy. So if I use the up arrow here, I'm going back up into my color shader, my, um, my MoGraph color shader. I can go back up again to the default normal place where we'd pick our colors. So these functions that we're adding are kind of nested or parented inside each of these um, material settings. So here's my color, here's my multi shader. Inside that, I've got my uh, other colors. So texture one, I've just set that as a color. Texture two, I can set that as a color and I'm gonna pick a different color. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, just create some random colors. Once I've set a color, I'm gonna go back out of this one by using this little up arrow. And what I want to do is I want about five or six different colors. So in this uh, multi-shader, I can add more colors. So I can add another one and set that as a color. I can add as many of these as I want to, and I can set them all as colors, and then go through and pick a different color for each one. Now, if I was a good designer, I'd come up with a nice color palette, and um, I'd design it very carefully, but I'm a poor designer, so I'm just gonna pick random colors, and I'm just gonna go through and just quickly create a bunch of different cameras, uh, different colors, So just remember, once you click on a color swatch to go into a color to adjust it, once you've done that, use this up arrow to get back out of that into the previous page that you were on. So now, hopefully, I've got a color channel with this MoGraph multi-shader that has a bunch of different colors in it. So if we want to add more, we can just click the Add button and hit the little, uh, the little arrow next to Texture to choose a plain color. And we can have as many colors as we want there. 
So that's my multi-shaded MoGraph material. All I need to do now is to drop that onto the cloner that is cloning all my sweeps. And I can close the material editor. Once I've dropped it on there, the material is there. We just need to um, tell our random effector to pick those random colors. So the material is going on the cloner, so it's controlling all the clones. But the random effector, which is currently randomizing the position and the scale and the time offset of our sweeps, that also has a, uh, a setting for randomizing colors. So we go to the random effector, go to its parameters, and there is a little color section, and we want to turn the color mode on. So there's a couple of things going on there. We've got a material that has a MoGraph multicolored shader in it. We've applied that to the cloner, and then the random effector tells us to use all those random MoGraph colors that we've set up in the material. One thing you can do as well with the random effector, if I just select it, the random effector in the effector tab, it has a function called the seed. The seed is just the random value. If you change this random value, you get a different set of random results. So for example, if the distribution of the colors or the shapes or the randomness is not quite how you want it, you can just randomly set different values to this and it will just It'll, it'll make a new random value. So even though it's random, you can pick a different type of random if you prefer a different type of random. So all it's doing is changing the distribution of randomness. So if, for example, you really want a good mix of all your colors, you might just click through the button until you get a good distribution of the colors that you like.